Oh, I didn't even get to show you my new shirt yet, guys. Look at this. Look at this. I'm a winner. Yeah, nice, huh? Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, I went to Dave and Buster's over the weekend for my cousin's grad party for med school. Cop this bad boy. They didn't have any size large, so I got a 3XL. But I think it's kind of drippy on this. You know, it's like oversized. Here's this awesome segue. I'm a winner at Dave and Buster's. Dave, Dave Portnoy, Dave Portnoy, Barstool, Barstool Influencer Reality Show, Barstool Influencer Reality Show is what we're watching. Segway King. I haven't watched it yet, despite what the red line might say. I just kind of looked at it real fast and it showed it as I finished it. We are watching, we trapped 10 influencers in a house to win $25,000. Project Verified is a new reality TV show with influencers. You know I love watching awful reality shows with influencers influencers. That is my thing. So we're watching, they have three episodes. I think they actually just released a third episode eight minutes ago. So we kind of got like the hot scoop on three episodes here. And that was what won in vote earlier. All right, let's get into it, guys. If you're a longtime fan of the channel, we've already stopped on the one I recognized. Brad Crut is on this. That's like, I know fucking nobody on TikTok, but Brad Crut. Crut was the TikTok bully, the guy that bullied everyone into going to school and going to class to be an academic weapon. That was that guy. So he's on this. I trapped 10 wannabe influencers. That is so loud. My bad. Also, notice the fucking dislike bar. Holy shit. Is this gonna suck? Is this gonna be awful? Okay. I trapped 10 wannabe influencers in a house for a week, and only one of them is gonna win $25,000. And you watching right now are gonna help decide who wins. But more on that later. I'm Brianna Chicken Fry. I saw this girl blackout drunk in a club in Miami once. Just absolutely sloshed. I had like 5K subs at the time. I was kind of scared to go up to her. I know you from the TikToks or whatever. Like I've, I cover tic I cover TikTok stuff, but yeah, she was blacked the fuck out. <laughs> But content houses are lame. Everyone in the house pretends to like each other when they all secretly hate each other, but that's the juicy stuff, and that's what I want to see. So I decided to create my own reality show. I okay. interview thousands of psychopaths. I flew to LA and we got- I recall Cap. Thousands? You had thousands of TikTokers you interviewed. Mm. Got a sick house. I obviously couldn't do the show. Why are people I saying my name? Connor has literally seen everybody. In Miami, it happens. Out my best friend, Grace O'Malley, and my BFF, Josh Richards. Josh. This is Project Verified. Let's do this. <laughs> Welcome to. Okay, I'm very curious if they're gonna be awful as hosts or if they're gonna like kind of pull it together. Let's see. They both got the pink hair look. I guess that's probably for the show. Project Verified. Oh, yeah. You guys are gonna have to be picking. We just started the show. <laughs> the show just started. We know nothing about it. There's gotta be a twist. You guys are gonna have to be picking amongst yourselves the one person you guys like the least and are gonna be sending home. Oh that doesn't seem that shocking. No to me. These 10 people showed up to the house as strangers. We had them say one line to describe themselves in front of everyone. They had no idea their first impression would lead anybody to one else. of them going home. My name's Connor Fallon, represent St. Louis, Missouri. I'm here to fuck bitches and get money. <laughs> Hey, I'm Liz, I'm 22, uh, and I'm here because I'm the perfect combo of hot and crazy. Uh, she didn't even try to deliver that line with any effort. Like, that's actually her. It was just kind of like, ah, well, I guess I saw Francesca do it on her shows, so I guess I'll say it too. I'm hot and crazy, okay. My name's Alexi, I'm 23 years old. I'm just- and Then he also did the same thing. He said, I was gonna, I'm here to fuck bitches. All right, Connor. I'm not even sure if that's the point of the fucking show. Solo lead, chronically online, post-woke podcaster and socialite. Hey, what's okay. going on? I'm Noah, I'm Not 26, bad. and I'm here to get that fucking money, baby. Let's go. <laughs> okay, Noah, relax, man. Relax. Smiley Hi, I'm face Myla Gibney. I'm 24 years old, and I'm kind of known for like going out, being unhinged, and doing the most crazy shit. So I'm here to stay sexy and win some cash. My name is Are Brad Prout. I'm 22 years old. Brad, my boy, let's go. I have a love how every single show we watch, we have one person that we know from from past anything. Let's go, Brad Crot. Coming in here with a positive attitude. Let's get it. And I'm here to motivate this crew. We're about to get through this. We're about to give it every. We are all here for a reason. We're all here for a purpose. Let's go show them why. We were oh, all really here. Coming like across like full for a right reason. Now. Let's go show them why. Are we all here for the reason? That was the first time. <laughs> Yeah, so you guys all just met, and now you gotta figure out which one's gonna be taking those suitcases that they brought, and uh, leave. Oh, shit, already? <laughs> that was pretty fast. Uh, after one sentence in her introduction. <laughs> Tell them, I gotta pick somebody already? Voting, you can't that vote for yourself. That was the fastest elimination round I've ever seen on a show. Eliminated from the show. 
Everybody has their votes in. <laughs> that the first right? person eliminated from Project Verified is... Alexi, I'm sorry. But <laughs> she seemed chill. <laughs> Okay, I kind of love the show, actually. From the first two and a half minutes, they've already kicked somebody off based on saying that she was a podcaster socialite. Take the same Uber you actually just got dropped off in. Just hailing back around. But you've been voted off the show. Cool. This house looks really tacky, so I'm just going to find a nice hotel, and I'm going to get the fuck out of here. Oh, Good exit. <laughs> Bye, Lexi. I kind of saw this coming. I wasn't really that excited to be here. Like, I've never seen a reality TV show. I don't know what Barstool is. She's wearing all black. Okay, maybe she should have been kicked off then. Maybe she should have been. I, why'd you go on this? I mean, she had to go. Someone had to go. She didn't really seem like competition. I thought it was a bad move. I took one look, and I knew she was going to be a narc and backstab us. All right, so the nine <laughs> of them have... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? How? Let's go inside. Let's fucking go. All right, guys, so you officially made love it that. in the house. And today I didn't you're love gonna be that. I like O'Malley, too. I didn't love that. Competing in a series of challenges for your spot. They're trying to be quirky. I'm not sure that the show, we don't know the show's identity yet, but I think it might not know either right now. In a challenge, you get a bed. If you don't win, you have to continue with the challenges. <laughs> so you guys all have your suitcases here with you. The first person to grab their left shoe, a toothbrush, and a bathing suit wins the first challenge. Go. Crazy yeah. challenge. Oh, we already got a bag open. They're just throwing shit at the wall right now. Come on. Let's go, Brad. Let's go, Brad. Brad, you about that speed. Come on. That's bullshit. You can grab your stuff, head up, and go pick a room. Let's go, baby. Challenge one winner. What's up, Cloud Fam? I'm like the most motivated guy of all time. Like, fucking that sick. That is bullshit. You know you're in the same fucking house as Bradley Crutt? I don't think you realize that. You are not the most motivated in this house. I was born to be famous. Born to be in the spotlight. I am here to win the 25K. I think this competition is going to be easy. I'm going to blow through it. As you're already seeing, I just won the first challenge. The All right. The same issue I had with that one girl's line. He just doesn't seem committed to the part, you know? It's like he's trying to play like the part, like the reality TV show guy who's just like a douchebag, but he's not committed to it. He's like, I'm the best looking and the funniest and I'm going to win this show. I could fucking act better than that. I'm the funniest dude. I'm going to win this shit. These other people, they're all bitches. They're all little TikTok bitches. I'm going to fucking, I'm going to dominate this shit. I'm not even fucking ready for this shit. Liz is a fucking rocket. She is a smoke show. She is one girl that I'm trying to make really good friends with, if you know what I mean. Oh, wait, oh, I'm doing the edits shit. too. Okay, what is the identity of this show? Hey, look at this shit. All right, guys, we got Connor upstairs right now picking out a room. We have eight people competing. Let's get him in the pool. <laughs> okay, what I will give it so far is they are fast. And I do enjoy that. I mean, we kicked somebody off in two and a half minutes, and now we're already at the pool <laughs> doing something Don't else. Don't worry, okay. because we do have a lifeguard on duty. Who is it? O'Malley? Oh, you do another cringe bit here, I swear to God. Ah, oh, motherfuckers. Ah, oh, motherfuckers. There she is. Ah, you bits. These bits are not hit. There's no running at the pool. You didn't have to run. Ah, uh, I don't know. Okay, so there's one Takis coin at the bottom of the pool. The first person to grab it and come Brad. up in the surface. Brad is, <laughs> Brad is ready to win. Let's see it, buddy. Wins a bed in the house tonight. Go! No way. Oh, dude, how did he stumble so poorly? Oh, wow. He really fucked it up, actually. Like, everyone was, like, searching around, and I went down. I don't know if there's Puerto Rican in the water, but I just, like, opened my eyes, felt the, like, a cool type of coin, and it's a fucking GoPro camera. That's a camera, man. Damn, it set him up familiar. Anybody drowning yet? This is, like, the Goblet of Fire, is it? We're going to relate this to the Goblet of Fire? That is a high bar. This is fucking Chuck E. Cheese. Bro, go down. the right one. We ain't Chuck E. Cheese. Nice, Josh. I like Josh more nowadays. He's he's gotten better. He was always the best out of the whole TikTok boy bunch. Let's go. I talk. What I say? Oh, what did I say? Brad, baby. Brad, baby. Try and get a fucking room. Let's go. I knew we could do it. Is to truly inspire and motivate. This guy's got so much energy. I'm just excited to meet new people and just. Bring my positive energy to them, and hopefully it, it like goes on to them. I love it, dude. Come your positive energy all over me. Yep. Just release it. Let's go. I want it. Let's Don't you dare it. say cringe. I love this, man. It's my fucking dog. I'm rooming with him. Ah, okay, damn it. Ah, pick better friends, though, Brad. Come on, man. Dude, we look like fucking problems with this. Yeah. <laughs>
Brad just okay. won. He's upstairs grabbing his bed. So let's get another winner. We got everyone up on the balcony. Okay. Everyone's gonna have a bean bag. The closest Ooh. one to the. They really are t the Mr. B style. Is on right now. It is on. Place Although the Takis thing is starting to get a little annoying. Takis are everywhere. Too many Takis. You guys can decide who goes first. Well, shit. Ladies used to be boys first. <laughs> you haven't God, noticed no. the Takis? You are oh, lying. Dude. Let's go with the. Let's right. go with Hot Liz. I'm feeling Hot yeah, Liz right now. Horse, dark horse. That's we're branding her Hot Liz. Liz. All right, Lila. Bit on the Bro, nose. Whenever you're ready. Oh, oh yeah. hey. We know nothing about the show at all right now. We're eight minutes in. I know literally nothing about the show or the goals. Honestly, I slayed. You can throw whenever. I would vote her off after hearing her say that. Me personally, I wouldn't let that slide. Clear. At least they're $25,000. We know they're $25,000. Hot Liz, it's your turn. Hot Liz. Fuck me. Oh, pretty bad, Liz. Yeah, was not looking hot. All right, Blake, you're nice. up. Nice, get her, get her ass, Josh. Leah, you're up. There she goes. It's a nice looking throw. Oh, not the worst. Liz is still the worst. You guys need a second opinion? Uh, I think we can clearly actually see the bean bags. Oh, oh, Nelly's oh, ward okay. jumps aren't hitting for All me right, this, this show. Winning. Pressure's on. Last throw of the game. Oh, and Lila's the winner. Lila, Congratulations, Lila. Lila. All right, Lila. Yeah. Okay. Good rest job. Rest. You really slayed out job. there. I'm nervous because he keeps saying we're in their spot in the house. I feel like whoever's no, left is out. No, seriously. Like, it's fucking go time. Who's that guy in the back? That's Honestly, the first time I've seen that guy. Who's that? They know what the fuck that means. <laughs> first Australia, and now I'm in Turkey. Galen Maltese, I'm so fucking happy to be here. So she's no. a travel influencer? Is that what she does? Literally, I'm just so fucking funny. Mm, give me female Connor energy with that one. I'm so fucking funny. Oh, you guys are both funny. Yeah. You and protein. Female yeah. version right. of Gunner. You I take that back, Janet. Time. That's how I wish I talked, actually, a little bit. <laughs> Fuck everyone. All right, so this wouldn't be a content house without some sick-ass cars pulling off, right? Okay. So we're going to pull up one by one, and you guys have to guess what cars are worth. Whoever is the farthest away will be eliminated from the round. No, you look too confident. God, that's such like a rich person game show idea. <laughs> Luxury car guessing is kind of funny. I feel good about this one, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I got a good, you know, eye for it. All right, let's see, this is car number one. Let's see this puppy. I would have no fucking idea. I would have no idea. I got no idea what kind of car that is. All right, guys, this is car number one. So make that sure doesn't you guys impress me. down how much you think it's worth. I don't give a fuck about cars. Miser, the furthest one away is eliminated from the challenge. What are you guys saying? I have literally no idea. That's a Rolls Royce. I'm gonna say 251. So we beat the 250s. Are all of our answers locked in? Yeah. Yes. Noah, what's your guess? 550,000. Oh, I think I was a little low. Brandon, what's your guess? <laughs> $99,999. Liz? Yeah, that's what's wrong. I said 200K. Blake, what do we got on this side? I said 85,000. Flakes, what you showing? $100,000. <laughs> was I wrong? Okay, okay Natalia, how about you? I said $75,000. So we got a range of prices here. All over the board with this one. All right, guys, so the total value for car number one was $89,000. I was way we off. Holy Blake shit. I'm still a winner. Fuck you guys. And the furthest away was Noah. <laughs> yes! <laughs> the most confident. Get the fuck out of here, buddy. Bring in car number two. Don't know what that is. What is that, uh, Mercedes? Porsche. All right, Porsche. Brandon, Porsche. what's your final answer? 125K. 53K. 165,000. I'm not going to do this guessing game with you every single time. 150K. $150,000. I'm with you. So guys, with the value her. of this car here is sitting at $212,000. <laughs> so the closest, again, is Blake. Congratulations. Liz, you're out. I'll take your whiteboard. Let's get car number three in here. They're just laying on that hey. horn. Grace, Go is that again. you? Oh, dude, I'm here. <laughs> I do find the Grace O'Malley person funny. I found her funny before, but if this entire show is using her as a fucking comedy punchline every time and you see it coming, it's not going to work. It's got to get old real, real 75, fast. 75,000. 55,000. 40,000. Hey, O'Malley. 300,000. Fuck it. Funny you should ask, Josh. This bad boy retails for $17,900. I oh, lied. Oh, I didn't even look at what the car was. Like teen? You guys are stupid, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really not well, a car person at Blake all. Blake <laughs> being the furthest away after winning two rounds in a row. Blake, I'm gonna need that whiteboard. I didn't even look at the car, right? I barely looked at the car. 
Okay, now that, that is a G-Wagon, because I've had a friend who has a G-Wagon. Yeah, I know some rich people. And that's gotta be like 400 fucking K. What do we got? Three, I'm, I'm thinking north of three. Am I crazy? 190K. I said 200K. I'm thinking north of 300. Worth $180,000. Okay, is that even a G-Wagon? Is that even G-Wagon? What the f So, Brandon, Oh, it is? You're okay. out. Should, I should have stayed confident on it. I should have stayed confident. Hey. All right, let's bring in car five. Lambo? Oh. 359,000. All right, let's see everybody's answers. Brand Flakes, what do you got? 240,000. Okay. I feel 400K. All right, guys, so the total price for car number five is $389,000. I would be out of the show. Well, Leah wins. <laughs> I would seriously just be out of the show right now. Good, awesome. Brand Flakes, you're a loser with the rest of the squad. <laughs> All right, Leah, you can go in the house and find yourself a bed. The rest of us are gonna go to the next challenge. I'm sick. These are all challenges just for them to pick their bedrooms. That's all they're winning. I give the girls what they want. I would say I am like a whimsical, you know, eccentric fashion girl. Yes! <laughs> yes! I chose Leah from across you. the street. Aaliyah won the last challenge and she got her bed. We got five people left, so let's bring them up on the roof and get one more room. Hey, Grace, how you doing down there? Grace, what happened with the hammock? Oh, I fell off of it really bad. I really hurt, but the medic got me good. Hey, welcome to Project Verified. Oh, no. You all right? I'll be fine. Okay, cool. Thanks for- Stop using her as comedic relief. I'm gonna lose my mind. All right, guys, for this challenge, we're gonna be playing Word Scramble. There's a bunch of letters that have been hitting throughout the backyard. You guys need to find them all, spell out the word. Oh, that's kind of fun. And the first one to do so correctly- I'm kind of down for this one. Okay. All right, I'm bought in. Get to pick a bedroom. Are you guys ready to go? Yes. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh, they can just see the letters of the, like, run around and collect it's them. Fucking why? Looks Why does that piss him off so Me. much? Let's fucking go! I would have liked to play as well. I would have liked to play, but I guess I can't. It has to be something with talkies. It's not spice. Intensity. Face the intensity. It was that easy. Brain. Big oh, brain. Ah, uh, was hey, branded brain. too. Uh, weapon. Hot Liz, like how hot talkies are. Hey guys, I'm Brandon Brown. I'm 22 years old. I'm from Kentucky, and I'm here to fuck shit up. The best friend everyone wants. But not everyone can handle, bitch. The way I go online is the way I am in person. Best friend everybody wants. How much confidence can you have in yourself that's so delusion to say I'm the best friend everybody wants? I would never say that in a million years. I wish I had your confidence. Babe, no you don't. It's not confidence. It's delusion. It's narcissism. Living in You're talking to yourself! I just said that! Almost self-aware. What the fuck? That was weird. <laughs> So my strategy is to be teamed up with everyone, yet no one. The girls trust me, the guys trust me. I'm the best friend everybody wants. My strategy is to backstab everybody. And that's it. We're heading to the kitchen for one more person. <laughs> Every shot is Takis. It's, it's all their B-roll is Takis. Are any of you guys chefs? Yes, chef. So what, I'm guessing they're gonna be cooking with Takis. Here we go. Perfect. In this challenge, you're gonna have 10 minutes to cook the best grilled cheese sandwich for me and Brie that you can with a side of Takis. Oh, mother. This has to be what this is for, right? How shameless the Takis are. Go. Go, go, go. Oh, we got a shirt off already. Excuse me, Grace. I burned myself. Get out of here, come on. It'd be funnier if this challenge only gave them one pan to work with between all of them. Blake looks like she knows what she's doing. My dad was a And chef. facts. Fade a spatch, I'm sorry. No, you fucking can't. No wow, this show is really up. heating up. See that flip? Ooh. That's a good flip. That, that was flip, an awful ready? flip. What do you mean? Was Actually, everyone okay with this what flip? What are you talking about? That flip was disgusting. <laughs> it landed in half. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. Get your plate plates down. out. All right, guys, so that's the end of the 10 minutes. Whatever's on your plate right now is what we're going to be eating. 
So, First up, we got Noah. What are you serving up for us? I look, I got a three cheese blend. Then for the side, I have sliced bell pepper, cream cheese, and Takis. Cheers. That is a fucking drunk, high as shit meal if I've ever seen one. You could have used a little more butter. No butter, mayo. That's the trick. Mm. No, I'd spit it out when he says that. I don't want no mayo on my grilled cheese. Maybe you could have used butter. <laughs> Actually good. Sandwich I need oh, okay, she said you should use butter. All right. more grilled cheese. It's actually really fucking good, isn't it? Next we got Blake. Um, listen, I'm not trying to give you some pompous, keto-looking bullshit. A grilled cheese, what your mom makes for you, what you have when you're drunk, when you don't got money. I really like the crust on this one. Save the best for last. I hate tomatoes. Oh. Yeah, it's your piece. You're gonna have to be unbiased about the I know, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna take a bite where there's no tomatoes. God, it's so the editing's so bad. Is it so bad it's good? My so cheese bad. isn't cooked at all. I'm thinking I don't want another bite. Liz, I hate to say it. The cheese just wasn't melted through all the way. Too much cheese. Third place? Brandon. There was too much butter. Gotta give second place to Blake. You had a great sandwich. But the interior with the cheese not being melted really just- They're really did. trying to act like so professional about this shit. Bro, they, well, they make grilled cheeses. <laughs> Calm down. Noah, that means you're the winner of this challenge. Congratulations, Noah Shabbat. with his Bell cream cheese bell popper abomination. Blake has something to say. I just think it's a little bit bullshit. His doesn't Speak look your that truth. great. All right, Noah, you're good. You can go upstairs and pick out your bedroom. And the three that are and left, now you have a bedroom as well. Us. What's going on, guys? I'm Noah. I'm 26. I'm coming here from Manhattan. I'm an onion because there's layers to it. I don't think I'm going to be surviving in the house. I think I'm going to be thriving in the house. Let's get this. Okay. Right. So far, I don't hate him. I'm on the Noah train so far. Not terrible. The onion layers joke was okay. I got you, Beth. Hey, Gunner, do me a favor. Hit the dislike button. Beth, who won the stunt show competition? Of course, I'll dislike it for you. What's Fuck up, Beth. <laughs> Oh, what's happening? I'm scared. What was that? Everyone in the house, listen what's up. Happening here? We have three contestants without beds. We have Liz, Brand Flakes, and Blake. Hot Liz, Brand Flakes, and just Blake. You guys will have 15 Blake. minutes to decide who is eliminated from the show and will be packing their bags and going home tonight. Oh, damn. Three I mean, not to be that guy. We heard fucking two of them be like, oh yeah, I want to bang Hot Liz. So they're they're keeping her on. So it's between these two. <laughs> All the guys Three, said they liked Hot two, Liz. Go! A little delay on them. Yes! <laughs> Where are you guys? Josh and Bree announced that there was 15 minutes for the three that are up for elimination. And they're all coming in one by one, pulling me in and out of rooms, trying to plead their case. How are you? Oh, oh my God, this I'm is the most. Now this is the most LA shit. <laughs> this is kind of what I like to see, actually. You've got three minutes to be a fake piece of shit. Go. Don't it's work. so much going on. Right. Liz. Liz coming in. Oh my God, you guys are so great. I love you. She's very close with Lila and the guys all love her. I fucking miss you so much. Is it Lila? You Dude, Liz, like she's hot Liz for a reason and she's just really fucking cool. Liz. Brad, don't fall for it. Damn it, Brad. You're falling right into her cards. They all want to fuck Liz. They're not taking her off. Okay, I'm happy. She said it. Is make them choose me over Brand. She, she said it. Had, okay, they're, 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 they're all saying so it. it has to be her. <laughs> they all know I it. I feel, for the first time in this game, a little bit of relief because Blake just threw a fucking fit in that the kitchen. That is fair. Yeah, you're done for, Blake. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, what? She's begging on her fucking knees over there. Jesus fucking Christ. Blake's in the other room <laughs> on her knees in front of the guys begging. Oh, God. Brad, get the fuck in here. You guys have a lot more followers than me. You're making your dreams. You have a fucking restaurant. Okay, Blake. That is not the right way to plead your case. I'll be honest. I kind of came out here a year and a half ago. You know what I mean? Ooh, it's a pity case what you're going for? Mm, don't love that one. Even if I don't win, I want to stay on the show to jumpstart my career, give myself more opportunities. This has a lot of followers and shit too, so does Bran. She went to the I think he's saying it right now too. Not really going for the whole the genuine route, more about the, the followers and clout route. You guys, you remember when you were also small, little piece of shit and nothings? With no clout, do you remember those days? That has to be the final whatever. It would it say, duh. I mean, girl. What the fuck kind of strategy is this? Blake, you are all over the place. You're in no position to start calling the shots. I can tell she's being very strategic with who she's talking to, what she's telling people, how open and honest she's being with people. I'm here. Hey, yo, whatever this guy's name is, let's get rid of all the straights. Hi, do you have my back? Philly boys for life. Give me back. 
Philly boys. Out. He pushes him off the balcony. Really? Sorry for feminism or whatever the fuck she said to me. You're safe, Brandon. <gasps> oh, of course. You're good. Of course you're safe in Brad's arms. And then while he has him grabbed, then he does the tombstone. Liz was not going home. There was no way in hell that was happening. I she's too to hot to go seconds. home. I know I'm not going home. I'm kind of accepting that. There's a very real possibility I'm going home. Three, two, one. See ya, Blake. There's three people. We have two beds. The whole house. If Blake doesn't get voted out. She rigged. She rigged the vote. I swear to God, if uh, with this fucking the talkies on the table, they're gonna be like, go ahead, pick a talkie bag. Like, open it up. It just says like you're voted off in it. It's like that was the wrong talkie bag. You're off. Okay, so all of the votes are in, and we're gonna read them off one by one, revealing who voted for who. Oh shit. Oh. Okay, Keeping so the first vote like is from Liz, and she voted for Blake. She's like, yeah, I did that. Second vote. Josh. <laughs> was done by Blake. And Blake voted for Brandon. Ooh. Third yeah, no, vote knew is that from one. Brand Flakes, and he voted for Blake. For Blake, yeah. Okay. We have yeah. two votes for Blake and think, one vote for Blake. I think maybe they might all be for Blake. Next vote was from Brad. Because she did one on one with him. Brad voted for Blake. So now we're sitting at three votes for Blake and one vote for Brandon. Next vote is in. It's from Lila, and she voted for Blake. I think that's over. I think you're done. We essentially need every vote to be for Brandon for Blake, you to be staying in the house. And with our next vote, Brandon be voted for Blake. Yeah. <laughs> By me, of all people. Wait, is that the guy? Was that Brandon in the blue sweatshirt? Oh, fuck. <laughs> he definitely promised her that he would vote the other guy. <laughs> so that means... Blake, unfortunately, you're going anybody. home tonight. Yeah. So to end off with the last three votes, we had Aaliyah, Connor, and Noah. We hadn't read off their votes yet. And all three of those people voted for Blake. Yep. Do you have anything to say, Blake? I don't hate anybody. Like, you're all great people. I had a great time in this house. Nah, fuck it, Blake. This is when you go all in. So, Blake, that is it for you on this show. You're now kicked out of the house. And we actually have Grace O'Malley here to bring you out. Escort so. you on out. Come on, miss. Come on, Grace. Let's go get you. Here we go. Let's do this. I have to stay here. Fuck. All right. All right. Well, the eight of you guys, congratulations. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Made it on to day two of Project Verify. So all of you can go into the house, relax, get to know each other, and have some fun. God, this show is so... I don't know. Okay, protein shake. All right, that was a crazy fucking day. We eliminated two people right off the rip. That show was awful? Okay. Yeah, I guess it wasn't great. I guess Brad's kind of saving it for me. This show really is terrible, actually.